Hello and welcome to another Chora Ch Jory Giant Veg, sorry. A little bit of a raspberry in my mouth there. I've got me a little cameraman here with us today, who's my son. He's going to give us a hand and give you a quick look at him. <laughs> He's going to uh, hold it up, oh, covering it. He's going to hold the camera for us to do a good job, hopefully. I'm just going to show you about what's going on. I did do a video last week, um, but I've got a new phone and I've lost the video, so I couldn't upload it. So I've been doing a few bits and bobs in the meantime um, that I'll like, update you on now. Um, in the greenhouse here, I've planted out, I've got two common cucumbers here. Uh, in the 45 litre and 30 litre air pots and what I've done is I've just stuck a cane in and I've tensioned the cord along and they'll grow up every so often and I'll clip them on and I'll train them to grow along. On this side I've got a, a candy apple cucumber I think it's called, no crystal apple sorry, crystal apple cucumber on this side it's supposed to grow little bowls. Um, so I thought I'd try one of them and then this one what I've got here is this is my loofah I was going to grow two but I've just decided to grow one this is the loofah and um, what you use in the bath to scrub your back with uh, from Dale Toten thank you very much Dale um, so that's cracking on now I'm going to train that up here along this and they'll probably join on with this and because I believe they need a lot of room for it to grow they'll go all the way up here and I'll try and stop it round about here and see if I can get some loofahs if I can't and I can't. Sorry, the place is a mess. It all needs tidied up, as you can see. There's a uh, there's crap everywhere. But when you're busy, things get left, and you go on to the next job, and then the last job at the end of the day is to tidy up, as you well know. Okay, um, I'll show you. I've managed to put a cover on my cold frame. Uh, I've put an end on as well. And if you have a look at this side, find this stuff. I've put it. I'll put a full side on this side as well because the wind batters from this direction and I've got 12 uh, leaks in here, poor Rochester giant, uh, Yorkshire giant leaks in here and I don't want them getting hammered by the side winds as you can probably hear the side winds now. I'll take it on the other side, I've left it open. I've left the other side open as you can see just for airflow mainly. If you can get down and show them the leaks and you can have a look inside. Uh, I've planted out the leaks. There's 12 of them in here, like I say, the poor Rochester uh, Yorkshire Giants. So they're from the best stock in the country, really. And um, you can't get much better leaks for size than what you do off the current world record holder. Um, when I planted these leaks out in the bottom of the planting holes, I put something called Viadate, which is uh, a systemic insecticide. And it stops the thrip or anything else which feeds on the leaks um, in that tracks really just kills them and you end but you end up with healthier looking leaks uh, less thrip damage and it's a, a really effective way of keeping the thrip but it only lasts five weeks and um, five day five to eight weeks i think i was told so after that every so often i will be spraying with a, a killer mite from a company called plant vitality and it's literally one milliliter or half a milliliter sorry per liter so you only need like a tiny drop in a liter bottle for to spray these for the uh, kill the thrip but yeah i've got 12 in there and they all seem happy now they're in there they've got their feet in and are starting to twist away the flags so we're happy with them what else is going on okay um today i've had the i've had the band busy digging this over down here um, and I've planted out some gladioli, gladioli bulbs in there 10 white 10 red and I've got a few more and I'm getting some more off a friend and I want to designate a big area for to grow quite a few plants because I love them they're really nice flowers um, I've still got a cover to put on this um, that'll be getting finished next week I need to be getting another frame on here that's still to do I've got all my quality onions to get planted out still, I'm still way behind with that. I've managed to get 35, um, 35 strawberry plants planted out in here and they're, they're starting to, they were just roots and as you can see they're starting to grow up through now. Um, some of the leaves are shown so they've obviously rooted and uh, taken which is good. Up here. Oh, 
herb garden, which I kept from the last person. Um, as you can see, I've got some beautiful tulips growing. These chives are growing absolutely crazy. The sage, thyme, lavender. But yeah, the tulips, as you can see, they're absolutely beautiful. Do you want to come have a closer? There's some beautiful flowers there. Um, also today, we've put in a new uh, mesh little trail up here. I've braided in some lats for to secure it in either side. Um, I've had the burn planting out some peas or pea pods, uh, two strips of two peas, and we've washed them in there. Hopefully, they're deep enough because next door's got some pigeons, and I have noticed quite a few pigeons knocking about. Hopefully, they're deep enough in that they won't. Um, be able to scrap the peas out and eat them. Rhubarb. I didn't realise, but this rhubarb, even though it's like doing fantastic and there's loads of it, there was huge seed heads growing out the rhubarb, which I didn't realise. You've got to de-seed them. So I spent a good half an hour, hour pulling all the seed heads out of the rhubarb, and it's still producing, and I'm sure you can eat it, and it's fine still. I don't know if there's any more seed heads growing out, but as soon as, it, as soon as you see them, yeah, there's one. As soon as you see them, pull them out, because it, yeah, rhubarb's going to seed and it's just going to be no good. I don't know if it turns it bitter or bitterer, uh, or if it knocks it and stops growing or what have you, but I've been told to uh, pull the seed heads off as soon as they come out, and you'll still, you'll still be getting... Um, decent rhubarb. I've seen quite a few people have problems with ants with the rhubarb so I'm, I'm gonna put some ant powder down because I noticed a few knocking around the other day there isn't any here at the minute no I can't really see any but when I was in amongst it the other day getting rid of the seed heads there was loads of ants so I've, uh, I've put a little bit of ant powder around hopefully that'll stop them making homes. Um, Oh, I'll take you in the polytunnel. So we'll see what's going on in there. I'm nearly all handed up in there now. Okay, so in the polytunnel here, I've got the gravity fed dripper system. There's 18 pots here. And as you can see, I've got half a dozen giant onions in, which have, they've already got their feet in, and they've been fed the day. I've got them under the supports and stuff, and they've been in for about a week, if that, and they're already starting to grow away. Great. Today, I've planted in, I've decided to just put um, 10 leeks, 10 little uh, Betty Black Cumberland Cross leeks. I've put them in these uh, 10 air pots, and I've left two over there, because I'm planting sweet candle carrots in there. I've already planted the seeds in there. So I'm just going to draw, uh, grow a couple of air pots full of sweet candle uh, carrots to see how they're going. In the, the Mills DNA Coke, Coke Cocoa, this stuff is absolutely fantastic. Uh, the moisture retention is really good. And the, the air pots, from what I've seen so far, they're, they're not drying out dead quick, which is something the air pots tend to do so yeah i've got all my little leeks in here i've got other uh, giant onions planted into the soil they all like they all look a bit raggy some of them are um scorched off the sun when they were in the greenhouse they're nearly all the lower flags lower flutes um and they're nothing to worry about really sorry about the mess in here as i was saying before everything's messy until they tidy up at the end of the day i've got six Cumbrian leeks in here, um, and they're starting to twist away. And when I when I when I say twist away, it means that the flags start to twist um, like this. See how they're twisting at the top, and it means that the roots are in. They're happy. They're not growing, and they're, they're thriving. Uh, they're very close together. Um, they're all right widthways, but in the, the like the girth side of it, they're going to be quite close to each other. But I'm stuck for room in here and I needed to get them in so I've put six in here. But you've got to do what you've got to do with the space you're given. So that's about it. Um, I've got my marrows 
have chitted the seeds, not all of them, but most of them. So I've got some of them planted out in pots, which are showing uh, the leaves now. I've got a, um, some of the David Thomas giant cucumber seeds, they've popped through and I've got them potted on. I've also got some Peter Glazebrook giant cucumber seeds um, that I've popped through and that I will be starting some Peter Glazebrook giant tomato seeds as well. Um, I've got other things, I've got, uh, if we just want to head it back out, I'll show you where I'm going to put, go on, alright, just turn around, don't worry about it. Okay, stop. I've got this area here um, which is down by the side of the polytunnel which is about two meters wide give or take maybe it's two and a half by seven meters long I'm going to rotivate all this get it all um, fertilized and I'm planning on growing a giant pumpkin down here from Matthew Oliver who has the, the outside UK um, record, the weight record, he, he, he uh, beat the record last year, so I've got a couple of pumpkin seeds from that actual uh, record breaking pumpkin, so I'm going to put one in here, grow it as far as I can, and see how big I can grow a pumpkin, if it grows this big or this big, I don't care, it's just a bit of fun really, but who knows, I might end up with huge pumpkin at the end of it, which would be quite funny, so yeah, that's about it. I'm over the moon now. I've getting my polytunnel finished. It's really good quality. I've, I'm, you know, I've finished it to quite a high spec. It's, we've had some real high winds the other day, and it's never moved. So up to now, I'm really happy with it. I've always uh, wanted a big, poly, a big allotment like this, so I can gradually do things I want to do all the way down. And now I'm finally getting to do do the things I want to do in it. I've got loads more to do, obviously there's tons more to do. I've got giant red cabbages to go out, um, Cornish giant cabbages to go out, uh, all my quality onions like I said before they've all got to go out. Um, but I'm stuck for time when you're working like two jobs all the time and you get an odd hour here and there and uh, spend some time with my son down here. We've got a, a season ticket each for, my, uh, for Newcastle United uh, for matches and we'll go to the match every other week so I lose a bit of time down at the allotment on a Saturday when it's match day but yeah I'm just, you can only do what you can do so yeah I'm happy with everything so far so thanks for watching and I'll see you again on the next one